Hey guys, welcome back and hello if you're new, welcome to my channel. Today we're talking all about highlighters, a little bit of body glow. As you can see, I'm a little bit glowy. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my top favorite highlighters. These are ones that I'm seriously so in love with that I would recommend to you. And I love doing videos like this where I kind of separate the makeup items into categories and give you my top favorites within each category. So if you guys like that, definitely let me know and I can continue to do more. Let's go ahead and jump. I do have a video on my channel or several videos because your girl definitely loves to glow. It kind of toned down a little bit this past year. I don't know if you've noticed if you've been watching. I feel like it is very flattering and you just cannot go wrong with a really nice glowy skin look. Ugh, obsessed. So I do have a video here on my channel where I share with you guys my top favorite highlighters. There's about seven to eight in that video. And of course, those are still my favorites. They didn't go anywhere. I still use them to this day. I do have a reoccurring favorite that I'm gonna share in this video as well, but today I'm sharing a little bit more. I'm also gonna be sharing some products that are going to be able to be worn throughout the entire body, like some mist and stuff. They're seriously my favorites. We have everywhere from very affordable to a little bit more on the pricier side. So tried to get a variety for you guys. I hope you guys are cool with that, but yeah. Um, I'm obsessed with anything glowing. I'm gonna have them all listed and linked below for you guys, like always, but we're gonna jump right into the first product, which is this one. This is by e.l.f. and the Nabella Collection. You guys, this is so affordable. This was a collab with Nabella Noor, and I literally can't get over this. I've talked about it so many times here on my channel, but this product right now is about $3. So if you're gonna get anything out of this video or pick up one of these products, please go get this because I don't know how much longer it's going to be available and it is so stunning. Majority of mine are a little bit more towards the golden side, especially for summer when I get a little bit more tan-like. I think golden just looks a little bit more flattering on my skin. I try to stick away from like a very light, stark highlighter. It's just not my vibe. So this one is pretty much like a nice golden highlight and it is a loose highlighter. I'm also gonna have swatches on the screen so you can see, but literally just tapping my finger in here, Hello, like what? They're so incredibly stunning. I am so obsessed. You only need the tiniest amount and do you see that? It is so pigmented and it's so buttery to apply on the skin and because it is a loose highlighter, you get a lot of products. Like you don't need a lot at all. You need a tiny dab and you're good to go. I love to apply this to the tops of my cheeks, but I also like to apply this to my collarbone and a little bit on my shoulder as well. It always goes onto my collarbone and shoulder if that is exposed, just because I feel like that's really pretty and just kind of gives a really nice flattering look to the chest as well as the cheekbone. It's such a stunning finish and I also like to use this as a topper as well. Sometimes I'll go in with a pressed highlighter, but then if I want to add an additional pop, you can pop this right over top just like on little areas and it definitely gives that nice finishing touch. It is so comparable to a higher end one, like not even kidding. It's very blinding, but you can again tone it down, which I love, so you have control over how much highlight you want to add. And these are the two highlighting brushes that I'm using at the moment that I'm in love with. They do switch here and there, obviously, but this one is by Morphe, and then this one is by Moda. So this one's more of a fan brush, and then this one is just a fluffier brush that really fits perfectly on the cheekbone in this area. Amazing. You don't like lose product when you're using them, you know, like these are the perfect brushes. So these are the ones that I like to use currently. You need this for $3, $4. It is incredible. Please go pick it up. It's also amazing on the bridge of the nose when I want to really have that stand out. This is the one that I also use as well. You guys are probably like, these are all highlighters, Brie. Like, what are you talking about? You like to use this one for your nose and like, just try it out. You will know what I'm talking about. They all kind of do something different, okay? I know that sounds very weird, but I like to use them all for little different features. And I think that they all kind of play differently on different features. The so next one is by CoverGirl. So it's another affordable highlighter. I love this. This one is the CoverGirl True Blend Super Stunner. This is their Hyper Glow in the shade Gilded Glory. I'm so in love with this highlighter. I mean, I'm gonna say that with for each one, I'm sorry, but it just reminds me of such a high-end highlighter. Like you're getting a very luxury luxe kind of product. I'm obsessed with it. So this is it, just really tapped in there once. Oh, it's like the perfect color. I know that they all look super similar, but look at that, like, oh my God. One little swatch and it is seriously so pigmented. They all look very similar, I'm aware, I know, but it's so hard to narrow down highlighters since that is literally like one of my favorite makeup products and they all do look different to me. 
It's very soft when you touch it. It almost feels like it's like a cream consistency, even though it's definitely not. It's 100% powder, but it's super finely milled and it, there's no chunks of glitter whatsoever. Like it just blends in so seamless on the skin. This is more of a deeper kind of highlight. So I do have a few different shades that are a little bit lighter. Another loose highlighter that is actually affordable as well. You can find it at a drugstore. It is by Wet n Wild. It's just their loose highlighter and this is their Mega Glow in the color Hustle and Glow. This one is more on that gold side like more like true gold like as you can see it has a little sifter in it i never really peeled back the thing just because it gets a little messy this is it just lightly tapped that is so so pretty again more of a gold gold color not so champagne-y um the elf one's a little bit lighter than this one but this is so pretty you don't need a lot like i said before same kind of deal. You can totally wet your brush or wet your skin to get more of an emphasized glow and more like beaming like, but you don't even have to with these. And I wanna say this is like not even $5 at the drugstore. I can also mix this with another loose highlighter and kind of make my own. And I think that is gorgeous as well. You will save these products literally for forever. They don't run as fast as you would think. Like This next highlighter is definitely still affordable. You can still pick it up at the drugstore, I believe but it is more of a liquid form. So this is the Ardell Attitude Adjuster. A tiny drop and you're good to go. It comes on a little dropper, so it's really easy to apply to the skin or apply to like your hand and then dab it on from there. So what I like to do is just take a tiny drop, like peachy golden, I guess. Um, how blinding is this? Hello? Yeah, I find with these, the darker you go, the better it is just because as you blend, I feel like the little shift to it looks like very light and kind of almost like a light, light, light highlighter, which is not my vibe. So I like to go a little bit darker in these just because of that shift that it has with the light. But these are beaming. If you want to look beaming in photos and you don't want to break the bank and buy like a crazy highlighter, you need to try these. It is so incredible. I find this even on the shoulder looks sickening outside in the summer. Like it's just super pretty and you cannot go wrong with this. It looks awesome all day long on the skin. Doesn't feel greasy, doesn't have chunks of glitter. Like it is seriously so smooth. You use this with a beauty blender and a blend it in the skin. You can even put this on bare skin or you can mix it into a foundation if you wanted to to have more of a luminous look. So it's all up to you, but I like to use it on top of the cheekbones. All right, another highlighter that I like to do on just my nose area, pretty much like the bridge of the nose and the little tip of my nose would be this one from Girlactic. This is a duo, so it is the Moonlight Skin Glow. So this has a little bit of a cream blush as well as a cream highlight in here. My cap broke, but this is what it looks like. Um, the highlight we're running super low on, it's right here, and it's more of a champagne glow. Now, I did say before I don't love champagne highlights Honestly, I like more of a golden, but when it comes to the nose area, I think adding a little bit of that to the bridge really makes it look snatch and a little slender, and that's how I like to apply it. So I don't really put this on my cheeks at all. You only need a tiny dot to this, and you are good to go. And it is a cream product, so you only need to dab this on and melt right into the skin. I absolutely adore that. It totally passes like your skin glowing if you wanted to even like stipple it onto your cheekbones. But again, I like to do it for the nose. So it is just absolutely stunning. I love cream products. And sometimes I kind of steer away from cream highlights, but I love this one. Like if there's one cream highlight you're gonna get, please get this one. It is so, so good. If you guys know me, you know Persona Cali Glow is my jam. I love that highlighter to pieces. I've raved about this in that video as well in the world favorite highlighters and I'm still gonna rave about it now because it is still a favorite of mine. Forever and always will be my favorite. This one's in the color Zuma. I believe they have two different shades to choose from or three and this is what it looks like. This one is more of the champagne glow. This is what it looks like. I mean, can you adjust? Hello? Like that is seriously so pigmented. I will never get over how pigmented that is and hi. Like. It is stunning. It looks like a champagne in the pan, but when you go ahead and swatch it, it's definitely more of a gold kind of highlight and I'm literally living for it. I'm always using this highlighter. I think it is one of the best formulas and it just gives that beaming, beaming glow that you would want. She's not going nowhere. She is my baby. I put this in the inner corner of my eye. You can do that with any of these highlighters, of course, but this one is super pretty. I will just keep sitting here and swatching because that's how amazing it is. It doesn't feel chalky or anything and that's obviously all of these, like none of these feel chalky. They all feel very silky smooth and give the most bomb highlight 
you can ask for. So this was by Persona. All right, next highlighter is by Ofra Cosmetics. I have several highlighters that are my favorite through them. It almost feels like wet on the skin. That's how pigmented they are. This one is a palette called Glow Up, but this palette I think is seriously so worth it just because you get every single highlighter that at least is one of my favorites. This one right here is Beverly Hills, which you get a mixture of colors. So you have everywhere from a little bit of a gold to a lighter gold. Then we have Blissful right here. Rodeo Drive. Then we have Island Star. I love the fact that you get a mixture of highlighters in case you want more of a very gold one day or a lighter gold the next. You have a mixture and a variety and it's all in one. They also come out, which is amazing. So you can put it into your own palette if you wanted to. But look at this one, like how rich in gold that is. I like to mix them sometimes as well. I'm running out of spots to like swatch these for you. But yeah. Not sponsored by any means, but I do have a discount code where you could save some money. So I'll put that down below as well. All right, now for some body glow, which you guys, I'm blown away by this little trick. And this I saw from Scott Barnes and Tati. You guys, this is insane. You probably already know what I'm about to say, but this guy right here, Neutrogena sunscreen, the spray version. This is the ultra sheer body mist sunscreen. Are you ready? Ready? Literally stay like this all day. Of course, it's gonna dry down a little bit but it's so, 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 so stunning. It makes your body literally glow to the gods. Like this looks so phenomenal, awesome in photos. I am so in love with this. Of course, it's gonna be protecting your skin as well, which is amazing, but it's also looking good while doing it. You can even like put a little bit of this on a brush and top it off to your highlighter as well. It is literally helping your skin while giving you a nice beaming glow. I did only get up to 45 SPF, but you can definitely go up from there. It's all up to you, but I'm obsessed with this little trick, little hack, and shout out to Scott Barnes and Tati. <laughs> All right, you guys, next body glow item is from L'Oreal. So super affordable. This is their Beach Bay Face and Body Luminizer. Obsessed. I've shared this multiple times, I feel, here on my channel, but this is so stinking good. This is in the color light to medium. And then they also have another one, which is, I think, like in my bathroom somewhere, which is, I believe, dark to deep or medium to dark. It is so blinding in your face and you can just rub this all over your body and you will have the most sickening glow ever and it stays like that all day long has the most beautiful shift to it and you look like a bronzed goddess so it's getting a little bit of color but a little bit of highlighter and it is amazing washes right off in the shower so it's not a self tanner or anything but it's going to give you that nice luminous glow and it just looks so like heavenly i cannot describe it any other way it's super pretty to spend like 40 dollars on like a body glow you can just pick this up and you're good to go and there's no SPF in here either so definitely don't just wear this into the Sun I would definitely wear this as just like a topper to glow um, but it's very hydrating kind of feels like lotion all right so another body glow item is this one right here this one's from Ofra it's the Rodeo Drive face and body mist it's a radiant setting spray so I don't really love to use this for it as a setting spray first of all that is so satisfying to watch am I the only one So I'll either use the mist on here to spray it wherever I want in a desired area, or I'll spray it on my hand and use a brush and kind of just tap on top of that and lightly tap on top of the highlighter where I want to apply it, like, like to the highest point of the cheekbone to really emphasize or make that area pop. But I don't love to spray this on the entire face. It is so incredible. You will not go through it fast. It is a pretty large bottle as well. And I just think it looks awesome, especially in photos, like, to, like your kneecaps and like your shins and your collarbones and your shoulders. Like, you're gonna look like you're in a photo shoot. Like it looks so insane. And that goes for the other body glows as well or other highlighters. If you wanna hit those spots, it will look so stinking good. Trust me, take my word, amazing. All right, so another highlighter I wanna quickly mention is by Lancome. Now this one is a little bit more on the pricier side. It's in the shade Sparkling Peach, Sparkling Peche, I don't know, 05, I cannot pronounce that. But it is more of a light gold color so pigmented like i'm seriously obsessed i know i've been saying that for every single one but can you just they all look so similar but again when they're on the face they definitely look different in my eyes some of them are a little bit more softer like some of them are a little bit more like wet feeling so they're just different in their own way this one is beautiful on the entire cheekbone it is very soft very smooth if you're gonna splurge on a higher end one i would recommend this one for sure when you apply this on your skin you literally look like you just got back from a vacation you're nice and glowy and snack these highlighters are seriously stunning and these are definitely the ones that i would say to splurge on or spend your money on if you were a little unsure these are so incredible 
you will thank me later. So I believe that is all for this video on my top favorite highlighters. I hope you guys did enjoy it and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.